Today's video is sponsored by NordLocker. Encrypt up to two gigabytes of Mac files for free at nordlocker.net slash daily tech. Hey, it's Chris. Today I'm gonna introduce you to so many new Mac apps, you're not even gonna be able to handle it. Now, I know I say this all the time, but I do think this is gonna be the best episode in this series because the apps I'm gonna recommend are so great. Now, I've recommended some good ones before, like Jest Timer, the draggable reminder creator, or Station, the app that puts all your cloud apps in one place, or Crisp, the app that lets you mute background noises during calls, Pock, the touch bar customization app, Thought Train, the sticky note replacement for your menu bar, and Desk Cover, the app that helps you focus on just one app at a time, just to name a few. But check these out. Rocket is a free little app that is the coolest way to use emojis on your Mac. So on a Mac, before, you had to use Command, Control, and Spacebar to bring up an emoji picker. And it was all right, it worked okay, or it could use the emoji picker in the touch bar, also okay. But here, all you have to do is enter a colon and start typing out the name of the emoji you want. It's so much faster. And anybody who uses Slack is gonna take to this immediately, because it's very similar. Slash is the next app that we're talking about, and it describes itself as the ultimate app for doers. According to Slash, it can help you get twice as much done by hyper-focusing. The concept is really simple, but it's also kind of brilliant. So you come up with your to-do list for the day, then you start in on a task, and it starts a timer, which you will see on your screen. And it says, this is what you need to be working on. When you're done, it also gives you a little reward, a little visual party to kind of nudge you along in the right direction. The other cool thing is once you complete a task, it goes right into the next one, and so you kind of stay in this state of flow. You don't have to think about, what do I need to work on next? Millinote is the next app we're checking out, and it's an easy to use tool to organize your ideas and projects into visual boards. Somebody described this as Evernote for creators, although I haven't been into Evernote for years, but I absolutely love the interface for organizing ideas. What you get here is a way to organize a bunch of disparate things in one place. So whether that's text or a to-do list or pictures, you can mix and match all of that stuff. Everything in Milano is drag and drop, so it couldn't be easier. And I love how you can drag arrows to visually connect things together. Now the next app I wanna feature very quickly is called Horo, and it's also a timer app for your Mac, kinda like Jest Timer, but with a totally different take. Instead of dragging anything, you just type what you want. So how it works is it uses a natural language interface to understand what you're saying, and you can go from typing to hitting enter to being done making a reminder in just like a second, literally. Throw in multi-timer support, which this offers, and this is just a really slick app. Switch Glass is next, and it does something really interesting. It gives you a dedicated app switcher, just a little bar, almost like your dock, that lives on the corner of your screen to show you all the apps that you have open at a time and let you seamlessly switch between them. There's all kinds of customizations that you can make. It's just well, well, well worth spending five bucks on. Now, Bartender is one of my all-time favorite Mac apps. It's a paid app that lets you reorganize and rearrange and hide the icons in your Mac's menu bar. But a lot of people don't wanna pay for that. So here's a free alternative called Vanilla, which more or less helps you do kind of the same thing. All right, for the next app here, you know how you can bring up Spotlight Search on your Mac with Command and Spacebar at the same time, type in whatever you're looking for and open up an app, find something in iCloud, it's pretty cool. Well, this next app, Clue, spelled kind of weird, C-L-E-W, does something kind of similar, but instead of searching your Mac and your iCloud account, it searches all of your different cloud apps. It's just everything you need literally at your fingertips, so you don't have to open up all these different sites and go looking for something, it's just there. Oh, you know, I just thought of something else that you should probably download. It's the Daily Tech After Party. That's our podcast. It's linked up down in the description. If you're into Apple stuff at all, which I know you are because you're watching this video, then let me help you love your Apple products a little bit more. Plus, it's free. Your commute is so boring. It's begging for you to listen to the Daily Tech After Party. Sensei's the next app, and it describes itself as a next-gen Mac performance tool. If you ever wanted a really cool dashboard for yourself that tells you everything that's going on with your Mac and helps you do some other stuff to tweak the performance, this is that app. There's a partition map explorer along with some advanced storage features. There's a thermal dashboard and you can really dive into the health of your Mac's battery. And there's just all kinds of other optimization features that can help speed up your Mac's performance and your boot speed. I think at this point, you're probably sensing a need 
for Sensei. Now you got two kinds of Mac users. You got the people that like to hide the date and time in the menu bar and the people that like to show it and tweak it. I happen to be a shower. Well, for the showers out there, life gets even better today, as I mentioned, Subclock, which lets you completely tweak and organize and customize the Max clock. With this app, you can customize the look and the feel of the clock over 10,000 different ways. I have actually featured the app called Streaks several times, both in my Apple Watch videos and in iPhone videos because it's one of my favorite ways to track habits and stay on top of stuff. If I'm gonna fast or exercise, just eat better, whatever. It's a habit tracker that finally got a Mac version, a Mac app that syncs with all the other versions. So I had to mention it here because if you do wanna get a handle on something in particular in your life, improve at something, then it's great to have something that's available on all your different devices. So you guys know I talk fast and I listen to things fast as well, whether it's a YouTube video that I'm looking at at one and a half times speed or an audiobook that I'm listening to or a podcast at two times speed. I like to absorb as much information as I can in the limited time that I have, which is why I'm pretty excited about Dynamo, which is a Safari extension that will let you retime any online video. With Dynamo, you can do interesting things like slow videos way down if you're trying to learn something. Let's say you're trying to learn the guitar and you wanna get those finger placements just right. Well, slowing it down so you don't have to keep rewinding is gonna be really useful, for instance. So if you're into Apple and you've been on YouTube anytime in the last month, you probably saw Jonathan Morrison's video about the Mac Pro having 6,000 Chrome tabs open at a time before it finally maxed out his memory. Well, this seems like a great time to mention a Chrome plugin. I know it's not technically a Mac app, so I'm putting it here at the end because it suspends Chrome tabs that haven't been used in a while to save system resources. Chrome is an absolute resource hog. Well, actually it used to be. This app is so beneficial. NordLocker is a free to try encryption solution for Mac users that lets you store and share up to two gigabytes of encrypted files for free if you check it out at nordlocker.net slash daily tech. NordLocker lets you keep your data safe with super fast encryption with an easy to use drag and drop interface and 24 seven tech support. Along with multi-device access, you can also share encrypted files through email, messaging apps, AirDrop, and even cloud uploads. With unlimited encryption, you can protect sensitive financial info, IDs, passwords, photos, videos, and notes. The link to get started is down in the description, so give NordLocker a try and use the coupon code DAILYTECH to save 32% off the available premium plan. Woo, I told you, this is gonna be a great episode. I know there's some great apps in there that you've downloaded and you're gonna start messing around with and enjoying today. I know it's very hard to introduce me to a brand new Mac app, but if there's an app that you know I haven't covered here on this series that's new, that you think deserves to see the light of day, whether you're a developer or someone that just stumbled across it, then leave a comment and we'll see if it makes it into the next video. Don't forget you can check out at Daily Tech, spelled Daily T-E-K-K on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.